This is Athern's SD70M. There are other SD70M releases like it, but this is the most recent release just out in early 2018. And this has Tsunami 2 sound, MSRP 299.98, but regularly found in the low to mid twos. Let's see what you get in the box next. Now, just so you aren't disappointed, this is not going to be a product review. This will be a product demo because we've gone over the Atherin SD70 time, SD70M a couple of times now. So no paperwork, no pull tests, no couple of height checks. We're simply going to take the locomotive out, look at it, run a couple of functions and call it a product demo. The purpose of this product demo is simply to look at Atherin's most recent release of this, make sure there's no crazy problems with quality control, anything you should be aware of in the negative, and anything you should be aware of in the positive. So you've got those razor thin etched metal windshield wipers I really like on the Atherns. You've got the bulbs, which are still incandescent on this run, just so you know, I know Atherin is switching over to LEDs on some, but incandescent ditch lights and headlights work. Number boards are not backlit. There's no accessory lighting on this. Yellow sill on the anti-climber, McHenry couplers, silver tipped, MU hoses that are plastic. Uh, one day, Atherin is talking about going to rubber on some of them. I think they've already announced some items with it. The other thing you'll notice is the PTC antenna array. I'll show you better in a moment. On the side here, you've got that three-dimensional blower housing right in front of Union Pacific. You've got the dynamic brake vents, a dustbin hatch, exhaust, all of the accoutrements of the top. I think we're going to be French today. Radiator fangirls on the back. This is the non flared version of the SD70M. That means you get those flat radiator fangirls. And they do a light weathering that a lot of people don't catch on to on these radiator fangirls, like uh, this one right here. It has just a very light weathering on it just to give it a little dirty look because those things are really never clean from a few minutes outside of the factory. Compartment detail is pretty nice as well. Union Pacific, uh, the printing of Union Pacific's clean and legible does look like, does remind me of some of the early 2000s uh, print of the SD70 and other items from Atherin. Back end, you got a pair of incandescent bulbs, 4429 on the rear, separately applied grabs, coupler cut lever on the front and back. You do have sanding lines. You can see right there, got sanding line detail on the trucks, fuel tank detail, safety tread on the walkway, three dimensional doors here and here, and you got the brake wheel off in the back there. Back to the front, uh, looking through, you got a interior cab detail, uh, all one color. Windows aren't tinted on this, don't appear to be tinted. Get the teardrop look on the front, along with the cab nose door, which is a lot less pronounced than the old runs, and sand filler hatches up top, and separately applied grabs all over the nose. All right, now a quick roof view. You got the PTC antenna array. You see the safety tread even on there. Nice detail on that. Cab window sunshades. Following on back, you got the dynamic brake fan. Dustbin hatch with lift rings on all four corners, exhaust, horn, radiator fan grills with a see-through detail and you can see the fans through the grills or the grating there. So overall nice roof detail as well on this unit. I'm going to fire up some DCC and sound here by applying track power.
Tsunami 2 comes out of the box pretty loud. I hit F9 right away, which is an alternate mixer that cuts the volume in half. You got incandescent bulbs. Just checking that real quick. F8 handles mute. Checking that real quick. Listen to the bell and the horn. F3 is short horn. Dynamic breaks F4. Do not hear top moves. Got lighting effects, straight to eight. Handbrake sounds, all sorts of sounds in the Tsunami 2. Now one thing about the Tsunami 2 that is not well known is it actually has a lot more features than people think, including the fact that you can have digital dynamic exhaust, which if the locomotive's under load, it will actually notch the RPMs up if it's going up a grade or it just has a heavy consist. It'll notch up the RPMs appropriately. We're going to move this at one speed step with the sound off so you can hear motor noise. Very, very little motor noise, but there is a lurch at one speed step. Two. Three. Four. Still a slight lurch at four, and looks like it's about out at five. So it may require break-in. may just be... Not the most perfected of drives. I'm not sure. Genesis drives are pretty good, though. There's one in reverse, a little better. Still some lurch. Two. Three. Four. And five. I'm going to keep going in reverse a little bit. Seems like it's not fully out of lurch mode until further. Probably about 9 or 10, so just be aware of that. Incandescents still look good, they just have a habit of not lasting long, but I like the incandescent bulbs, um, but I'm glad they are switching to LEDs. Uh, so that when I do run my locomotives a lot longer, I don't start blowing bulbs left, right, and center. That's literally going to be about it for this product demo. I hope you enjoyed it. There won't be a run by. The purpose is just to follow up on previous ST70Ms from Atherin. We'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.